Hi, some of you have asked for a how-to presentation on a clamp meter. So today we're gonna to go through the functionality of a Fluke 376 FC. Uh, that's a true RMS clamp meter by Fluke Corporation. Um, first, I guess I would say that the FC at the end of this stands for Fluke Connect. It is a process by which you can download an app on your phone and connect to the uh, clamp meter and go several feet away, 30, 40 feet away, and still read uh, as if you were at the clamp meter. The measurement will come up on your phone. Uh, particularly uh, useful if you wanted to, for instance, put the clamp meter around a wire, uh, walk several feet away and either uh, turn on the uh, power to, to your shop or uh, maybe start the car just to see what uh, currents were uh, being produced. First thing we're going to do, we're going to do this video in two pieces. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go through the first uh, four, uh, three or four uh, functionality on the meter, uh, AC voltage, DC voltage, uh, including uh, millivolts, uh, and then the um, measurement of continuity resistance and capacitance. In the second part of the video, we will actually go and measure AC current and DC current. So if that's all you're interested in, you might want to skip to the next video, but first we will go through all the functionality of the 376 FC, starting with the functionality of uh, voltages and resistance. When you turn it on, uh, it will come up F376 in the, uh, uh, in the display. Uh, if it happened to be another type of fluke meter, a 375 or 374, that would be uh, indication of the actual model number when you bring it up. The backlight on this uh, particular model, you press the yellow key and hold it down for two seconds, and it'll turn the backlight on. I'll try to keep the backlight on most of the time during this presentation so you'll be able to see it more clearly. An AC voltage, uh, we're going to go to the smaller calibrator today. Um, this is uh, one volt uh, AC uh, from our uh, calibrator, 10 volts AC. Uh, by the way, this is 400 hertz, but 60 hertz would work just as well. Uh, and then 100 volts. The, uh, so it's simply just a matter of selecting the AC functionality, giving the meter the whatever type of AC voltage and it will auto range and show you exactly what the voltage is that you are reading. Uh, this is good, by the way, up to a thousand volts. Uh, you will see over in the left hand corner, the little lightning uh, display, uh, lightning rod display or, or lightning uh, flash display. It will be on if you are over 40 volts. If you notice when I go to 10, it goes away. Okay, on the millivolt side, I'm sorry, on the DC voltage side, um, we'll start with um, one volt. This is one volt DC, 10 volts DC, 100 volts DC. And again, this is an auto ranging meter, so it will it will choose the range as you input the uh, input the voltage. You don't need to do anything, it will, it will auto range. Uh, to get it to go into millivolts, uh, let's go down, let's say to uh, 300 millivolts, let's say. And then you just push the yellow button. If you notice that, the, it's yellow over uh, where it says MV for millivolt. You push the yellow button and it will uh, change to the millivolt scale. In this case, it's reading 300 millivolts. Um, it'll read uh, 400 millivolts. Uh, and when you get to 500 and above, uh, it will <clears throat> OL, in other words, it'll tell you you're outside the limits of the way that it was uh, programmed to do. In other words, if you have more than 500 millivolts, just take it back to the voltage uh, range. Uh, and then, and then it will, and it'll measure voltage. 
see there's half a volt or 500 millivolts. It's a light on here. Okay, so that's uh, AC and DC voltage. Let's try uh, our resistance. Uh, when you put first put it in the resistance mode, you'll see that it comes up K ohms. Uh, it's uh, outside the limits of the of the uh, range that it can measure at the moment. So we'll take the uh, resistance input down. Uh, that's a thousand ohms. Um, Ten thousand ohms. When you get to a hundred thousand ohms, it what what it'll OL. So it's it'll only measure accurately up to about oh, 20 or thirty thousand ohms. Uh, that's ten. That's one uh, k or a thousand ohms. Uh, hundred ohms. Uh, now you need to listen. We're going to go to ten ohms, and you'll see the little. Uh, sound wave comes up, and that's the continuity check. If you're less than about 40 ohms, you're going to get a continuity, uh, and it'll make that beeping noise. Okay? So that's the way resistance and continuity works. I'm going to change calibrators here for a second, and we'll show you how the capacitance works. Okay, we have the... Uh, the other calibrator, the one that is uh, capable of producing capacitance uh, online here, um, press the little yellow button, takes you into uh, microfarads. Uh, whoops, let's get the backlight on. Turn on the calibrator. All right, that's one microfarad. Ten microfarads. And 100 microfarads. Um, the uh, if you if you go to a millifarad uh, or a thousand microfarads, it will OL again. In other words, you need to remember that they have range limitations. So uh, if you if you have a capacitor that's more than uh, well, let's say 100. If you have a capacitor more than 100, you probably ought to uh, to use a different way. But most capacitors that are utilized in in uh, modern electrical circuitry anyway, are going to be somewhere between uh, 1 and 100 uh, microfarads. So that's the way, again, you uh, measure capacitance. It's just a matter of uh, plugging the, uh, uh, your leads into the, into the jacks, go to the capacitor, and it will auto-range. In other words, it will select the proper range for, for capacitance, just as it did in other things. Um, one last thing, if you do uh, want to put it in FC mode, in other words, if you want to uh, do the download of the app and, and connect Fluke Connect, the way you do that on the meter itself is to push this button and it will connect to your phone. Okay, uh, let's uh, pause this video or stop this video and we'll go on and we will check the actual AC and DC uh, clamp meter functions.